United Space Alliance. Innovation you can trust. Space Shuttle Discovery headed for home after a just under two week trip to the International Space Station. Okay folks, uh, we're on our way home. Discovery's crew installed the final set of solar arrays on the space station, fixed the urine recycler machine, installed a GPS, and dropped off a new crew member before heading to a cloudy Kennedy Space Center. And nose gear touched down. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 201 orbits, 202 orbits of the Earth. We had a very successful mission, very proud that we were able to bring up the S-6 Trust, the final power segment for the International Space Station. Later this year, the space station will be manned by its first six-person crew, allowing NASA to use it for what it was built for, science. We got to start thinking now about how we're going to really utilize space station. You know, space station can really provide a basic research environment that, that's really unique. Discovery returned home with a small bump purposely installed below the left wing to slightly overheat the shuttle in a controlled way so that NASA could learn from it for future shuttle flights and for the shuttle's replacement. It's uh, the only vehicle that flies like this in a hypersonic regime at where we're able to capture this kind of aerodynamic data. So uh, we're, we're really excited to get this test data and all indications uh, externally on well, the vehicle certainly looked like uh, performance was, was really good, so. NASA's next space shuttle launch is the Hubble flight on May 12th. Space Flight Now will have special live video coverage of that with anchor Miles O'Brien and our team of space reporters. I'm David Waters, spaceflightnow.com.